All right, welcome to this uh, video, guys, 2.9. We're going to be looking today at percentages. Okay, now, as usual, your learning goal is that students can solve problems involving percentages and all four operations with fractions and decimals. You're probably getting the idea that fractions, decimals, and percentages are kind of the same thing. It's really being sort of run through the mill uh, with this section of the, um, of the unit. Okay, so by the end of this, you'll want to be able to express a fraction as a percentage and to express a decimal number as a percentage. All right, so let's talk about this uh, word, percentage. Actually, it actually comes from the Latin phrase percentum, which means, so percent comes from the Latin words or phrase percentum, which means per 100 okay so a percent means a certain amount per 100 okay so 66 percent means 66 out of 100 33 percent means 33 out of 100 okay so that's an idea so if uh, so if we had like 30 percent it's the same thing as saying 30 out of 100 or we could write it as 30 over 100, you'll sort of see what that kind of means in a bit. Okay, let's have a look at some of the conversions we have to do because maybe the first thing I'm going to be doing is looking at how to you know, finalize that last bit of conversion between fractions, decimals, and percentages. All right, so first one, converting a percentage to a fraction. So the first thing that we do is that we uh, write a fraction with the percentage as the numerator and the 100% as the, as the denominator. Okay, so for instance, if we had 12%, and we wanted to express that as a fraction. So the first thing we do is we write, so we're going to come over here, 12% is equal to 12% over 100%. Now you might think to yourself, why is it okay to write 100%? Well, to just sort of put it over 100%. Well, that's because 100% is the same thing as 100 out of 100, which is the same thing as one. Okay, so by dividing by 100%, we're actually really just dividing by one. But when we've got this here, these percent signs kind of cancel each other out, and all we're left with is 12 over 100. And then as we've got here, simplify if we can. So these are both divisible by two, so we can add six over 50, and we're done. Okay, so that's how we go from uh, percentages to a fraction. Okay, so pretty easy, kind of put it over 100%, try and uh, simplify from there. Okay, let's have a look here now. So converting percentage to a decimal value. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we now divide the percentage by 100%. Okay, so, um, so we've got 45% here, and so we're going to set that up as... So 45% is equal to 45% divided by 100%. And now you kind of will notice that it's kind of the same. You don't have to put this step in, but 45% over 100%. So the same things we had before. And those percentage signs here cancel each other out. And we're just left with 45 divided by 100. And that's equal to, if we put the 4, 5, and move our decimal point, da, 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 two spots to here, 0 0.45. Okay, so <clears throat> you'll get sort of nose to that, like used to that idea, that ends up being like 45 divided by 100. Uh, you'll, get, you'll get sort of used to that idea where, so you've got 45% here is 0 0.45. Okay, so you, you'll, get, you'll get used to that. Okay, so now let's look at, look at converting a fraction. So now we're going to look at going back up to our percentages. Okay, so let's look at converting our fractions to percent. The first one is if where we have an equivalent fraction that has, or, or we can make, sorry, an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. So let's have a look here. If I'm trying to get 4 over 5 to become something over 100. Okay, so let's have a look. 4 over 5, how can I get 5 to become 100? Well, I can multiply by 20, multiply by 20, and I get 4 times 20 is 80%, or 80, sorry, 80 over 100, okay? And uh, 
then the next thing that we do is multiply that by 100%. Okay, so we have 80 over 100 times 100%. Okay, the 100s cancel each other out, and we're just left with 80%. All right, kind of came to me in the end there. Uh, so that's the sort of process we take. If we can make an equivalent fraction with the denominator 100, chuck it over that denominator, or change it to be over that denominator, multiply by 100%, done. Okay, if we can't, we just multiply the fraction by 100%. So let's have a look here. 27 over 40, so we're just going to have that's going to be. So 27 over 40 times 100%, okay? So 140, both divisible by four. So we end up with, well, let's do it by 10, it's probably easier. So they go and we have 27, 270, 27 times 10 over four, which is, Four into twenty-seven is six. Remainder three. Four into thirty is seven. Remainder four. Four into forty is uh, ten. Is that right? No, 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 no. Four into thirty-seven. Remainder two. Four into twenty is four. Remainder. It's going to sort of keep going. So we're going to twenty-seven over forty. Will be about sixty-seven. Remainder three. Sixty-seven over forty is sixty-seven. Remainder four. Sixty-seven over forty is sixty-seven. Remainder five. Sixty-seven over forty is sixty-seven. Percent. Okay, round about equal. So you, you can round these up and down, okay? So your percentages can be approximate amounts. All right, converting decimals to our percentages. Fortunately, unlike the last ones, this is way easier for me to quickly blast through. So all we need to do, multiply by 100%, done. So let's have a look. 0 0.04 is 0 0.04 times 100%, okay? So we basically just times by 100, which is... Uh, we're moving our decimal point here, here, so that will get us 4%, okay? Then, let me sort of tidy those numbers up a bit. Okay, and have a look at this one, 0 0.125, so that's equal to 0 0.125 times 100%, which gets us, I'm gonna move our decimal point to here, here, and we have 12.5%. Uh, Okay, so a couple of different methods there. Basically, this is one of those things where you just kind of practice, 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 practice to become confident because uh, confidence is sort of the biggest issue uh, with how to quickly convert between these different ways of uh, looking at numbers, okay? So make sure you give yourself plenty of chance to practice and uh, come and see me if there's anything you have issue with uh, at school. Okay, thanks. Bye.